What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. Previously, I showed you how to set up a Hightail dedicated server, install mods and all of that. However, how exactly do you update said server? Well, the solution is actually really simple. But first, this video was sponsored by Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a fantastic Hightail, Minecraft and other game server hosts, so you can play with your friends without needing to worry about port forwarding and leaving your system on, Apex Hosting is a fantastic choice. With affordable prices, powerful server hardware, great customer support, automated backups, unlimited slots, free subdomains and so much more, you basically can't go wrong with Apex Hosting. Click the first link in the description down below and check the top of the page for the current coupon code. Right now it's Apex25 for 25% off your first order. However, for the time being, this big banner offers you 40% off using code HIDESALE40. Simply choose Get Your Server when you're ready to get started, then select your server size and make sure you have a coupon code applied, HIDESALE40 right now, check out and in no time you'll have a hassle-free HIDESALE Minecraft or any other server for that matter set up without port forwarding or having to leave your PC on at 24-7. So a huge shout out to Apex Hosting and their quality game servers for sponsoring this guide. To get started, the steps for updating are pretty simple and it really depends on how you've got your server set up. In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a dedicated server in a folder on your PC. Mine's located on my desktop right here. Updating this is super simple and it's even easier if you're using a cloud provider like Apex Hosting, but I'll include that at the end of this video. If we check out the Hightail server manual, which has been updated, scroll down, you'll see that there's a few ways to obtain the server files. The first is by simply navigating to one of these three directories on Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, and you'll find your actual installed game files. So if we copy this first one and hold start or the Windows key and press R to bring up this run dialog, we can actually paste that in here, hit enter, and it'll take us straight to where our game's installed. Assuming you've recently opened opened the Hightail launcher and your game's updated as such, you'll actually see that once it's done applying patches, the files in this folder, which again, you'll find right over here, have been updated to the current date. And of course, all we need to do is just copy these files to where they actually belong. So if I open up the Hightail folder in my desktop where we've got our game files here, all we need to do is open up the server folder, copy everything from here and paste it into our Hightail folder overwriting changes. Just replace files. Once you're done copying the server files, files, head back, and then we'll need to copy and replace the assets.zip. So copy this and paste it in your folder here. Alternatively, if you have assets in a different location, just make sure to update it there. Otherwise, otherwise, if you've got your start or run.bat pointing to your assets file in this actual folder here, then there's nothing extra you need to do. Alternatively, if you don't want to use the Hightail launcher to update your server, which is fine, we can actually use the Hightail downloader CLI. Now, in my previous video, I did say you can delete it when you're done with it. And while you can, you will need to re-download it from here, linked down below, and open it up as we will need the Hightail downloader windows, or if you're on Linux, the Linux one. We'll need to extract the Hightail downloader into our server folder. And once we've done that, all we need to do is just run it. When you run it, you'll be prompted to sign in. But alternatively, if you've already signed in before, it'll just immediately start downloading any updates. That's it. Wait for this to complete. So there we go. It's done downloading and we've got a new zip in this folder. Open the zip and very similarly, we've now got an assets.zip which we can just extract. And of course, inside of the server folder, we've got these same jar files, which again, we'll just extract, replace, and we'll head up, move the assets as well. And just like that, we've now successfully updated our high sale server. That's it. Super simple. When you're done, you can, of course, delete the zip file that was downloaded. And I'd probably recommend keeping the high sale downloader as we'll use that to update in the future in the same way. Now, of course, if you're hosting with a cloud provider like the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting, the process is even easier. Head across to your panel, then into your server. And here, all we need to do really is just hit the restart button and your server should update. That's it. Now, a bonus tip I'll throw in here. If you want to switch from the regular high Hightail to a Hightail pre-release, the steps are very similar. If you're using the Hightail launcher, simply hit settings in the top left, and then make sure to change patch line from release to pre-release, close this, choose install, and an update should be downloaded. In the meanwhile, to change a cloud provider's version of Hightail, simply head across to your panel, scroll down, and on Apex hosting at least, next to game file, the dropdown, you can choose Hightail pre-release patch line, which is experimental and gives you access to the latest features. Just by choosing this here, 
and choosing change version, your server will update. That's it. Hidesale does have support for cross version mods and things like that differently to Minecraft, which is one of the main core modding features of Hidesale. So updating your server or changing it to the pre-release should keep most, if not all of your mods working perfectly fine. You're unlikely to have issues. As for switching a local server's files, the steps are very similar. If you're using the Hidesale launcher to manage your files, change it to the pre-release as I just showed you, and then navigate back to the referring to the server manual once more, the same folder here, start R or Windows and R, paste it in and hit enter. Instead of using these files here, you'll need to head back quite a few folders all the way to install. So it'll be C users, your username, app data roaming, high sale, install. And in here, you'll see release and pre-release. In the pre-release folder, package, game, latest. Here we've got all of these files to switch to the pre-release version. So again, open up your service folder and copy the assets file across, as well as inside of the server folder here, copy these files out and into here too. Once you've copied and replaced all of these files, your server is now using the pre-release version. If, however, you're using the Hidesale downloader, the steps are a little bit more in-depth. Simply click at the very top in a blank space up here in your folder's path. Select everything and then hit backspace. Type in CMD and hit enter. This opens a command prompt window in the same location as your folder. If we type in HY and hit tab a few times, you'll eventually see high sale downloaded windows, blah, blah, blah. The same as the file inside of the folder here. Hit space after this and then type in one of these arguments mentioned down here. We can check the version of the updater. Check update actually checks the version of the high sale downloader. So it's not actually the installed version of high sale, a bit confusing, but you'll also see down here, patch line pre-release. Simply enter hyphen patch line space pre-release as such, hit enter, and it'll immediately start downloading the pre-release version of your high sale server. Just wait for this to finish once more. And again, once it's complete, all you need to do is just open up the new zip file that was downloaded, extract assets.zip, as well as inside of the server folder, these files too. Once you've done that, your server is now in the pre-release version, and we're basically done here. Keep in mind, in order to update your server, if you're hosting it locally, you will need to stop it first and restart it afterwards. Assuming your server is already running, simply use the stop command, SCOP, hit enter, and your server will gently be brought to a close. Press any key to continue. There you go. Now you can update your server files. That's it. Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and a special thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.